Hi, welcome to another um, uh, Photolink video. This one is third on the series on Rawhide, uh, which is probably growing to be my favorite uh, raw processor. Uh, Frank Holub has done a wonderful job on uh, this piece of software. We left off last time. I want to talk about a couple controls here uh, that we really didn't talk about. Uh, one is the demosaicing advanced dialog right here. Uh, what these are basically are a series of algorithms that are used to uh, process the photo in a, a number of different ways. Um, ACC is a, an algorithm that Frank developed that is sort of a hybrid algorithm that seems to do a better job than anyone else's does. So I encourage you to use that. It's going to work uh, 99.99999 percent of the time it's going to give you the best results. In the manual you're going to find there's some tweaking here a number of passes and BIOS or biases and uh, DNS weighting and things along these lines which I refer, ask you to refer to the manual on uh, that basically uh, is used in special cases to get rid of certain type of artifacts and things of this nature. But anyways, uh, this AHD, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, is the one that's used by the majority of the uh, raw processors, and it's used for comparison. Uh, these two are different processing types. This one is a very old one, and this is just for very fast results. What we're going to get into next <coughs> is uh, dark frames and backgrounds. Dark frames, I think I might have mentioned this before, is uh, basically you take a picture um, with a long exposure uh, and then what you do is you put the lens cap on the camera and repeat the exposure, uh, shutter times and so on, to uh, collect the noise that um, the center, a sensor generates. It's kind of like when you tune up a, or turn up a radio, uh, if it's a distant station, you're going to get background noise. Well, that dark frame is going to allow you to tell the system what the background noise is and allow it to be subtracted. Flat frame is very similar, but um, what it is is you take a picture of a blank spot in a, um, in a scene, and uh, like the sky or a snowbank or whatever, and uh, it subtracts that noise out of your picture. Hot pixel, pixel filter and dark pit filter are uh, ways of masking out uh, pixel uh, inadequacies in the exposure or whatever. You'll have to um, um, read the manual on those. Color management is nothing more than um, the color space that your monitor, your system, and your output is basically uh, set for. Most cases, um, the monitor profile should be system and the uh, output profile should be uh, sRGB and uh, rendering mode is uh, Rawhide default. <coughs> I'm sure you all know what metadata is. All the metadata is displayed here. Probably not in this video, but in the next video we're going to go into how we can modify the metadata in um, Rawhide. But um, that metadata is there for your display. You've got a handle here. You can move the um, histogram up and down. Um, and uh, also these little arrows, you can uh, hide the data in these boxes. Now, one of the most powerful features in this program is batch processing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this selected file here and then I'm going to tell it to open. Now what I can do is I can open a session which is a collection of files that I processed in the past as a group or I can create a new session by opening photos and selecting a number of photos. So I'm going to select five ARWs here. <coughs> now, this uh, first photo is the one that is on the screen 
and it's the one that I'm basically editing. This is my workspace. But if I hold the control key down and select these other photos, this pointer is pointing at the photo I'm used for editing. So now if I uh, select that photo as well as all these other photos, now any corrections that I make to this as far as exposure, brightness, uh, you know, contrast, color temperature, or whatever, will apply to all selected photos. <coughs> now, if I'm working on these and decide that I would like to uh, save them as a group, I could save them as a session and uh, for working on them later. Very, po or very powerful feature. When I'm done making those corrections, I just come up to the batch queue and tell it to start it. Basically, it starts it as a second level process, which means it has a lower priority and processes in the background. And as these items process, what you will see is you will see their output file, um, you know, color change as they're done. It will go through and finish these one by one. What you can do when you're processing is you can view the processing info and on your batch queue uh, it will display also your processing info here. <coughs> now, um, when you're done, all of these uh, images uh, will be processed and they will be in uh, the folder that you specified. There are a few more things to cover. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it here. Please visit my site, www.photolink.com. And also, uh, please um, visit um, uh, Frank's site. It's uh, on the uh, front of this video uh, to download this wonderful program. It's probably the uh, best batch processor out there, in my opinion. Thank you.